Let me show you. Come on. It's about time, you know, they started keeping you guys out of here. Jack Miller has gone yeah. down. He's exhausted. He's just absolutely, absolutely. exhausted. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Vanessa, why do you keep asking us to guess what? <laughs> because we're still in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be the first time ever in MotoGP modern history that we have two rounds at the same racetrack. So that's gonna be very interesting to see how teams use that, you know, to benefit them. Or what are the challenges that this is going to bring for everyone in the paddock? So let's go speak to them and find out. Hello, good morning. We are here in the Andalusian Grand Prix and yeah, let me show you, come on. Thank you. Okay, now it's time to go to the hospitality and have some breakfast. Let's go. Are you ready? You ready for the Friday? Yeah, sure. Come on. Well, as you can see, we have this thing to separate some people to the other ones. So this is the new normality. Everything is coming in this like this box, a bit different. Finished the uh, day. After the session, I have to go into it now. Yes, thank you. Yes. Shift time. I like Spain because uh, in Spain has shift time. <laughs> in Japan, no. That's why I want to live in Spain. Good culture. Paella, jamón. Especially jamón is very nice. Sounds like you're ready to have dinner. <laughs> okay. Today is not finished. Let's walk for tomorrow. There's Nagashima then. He's now trying to go through on a, a good friend and an old teammate there. Nagashima's through. That puts him in 11. He's exhausted. He's just absolutely, absolutely exhausted. Alex! Hello! Hello! How's it going? Good, fine. <laughs> Where are you? I'm in, the, in my office. Alex, have you stayed at the track since the last race? Every day. Ooh. <laughs> and what have you been up to? What are you doing these days? Some bicycle and a lot of sofa. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alex, you had to wait a long time for your first race in the MotoGP class. How was that first weekend as a MotoGP rider? It was tough, eh? <laughs> After four months at home, you know, you know how to get used uh, on the bike, on the MotoGP bike. And physically, so it was hard, and especially here that it's so hot. But I enjoy it. I enjoy it quite, quite okay. For sure, I'm the first one that I want to be more in front and more close to the top guy. What would you compare racing in Jerez in the middle of July to? Comparing to Malaysia or Thailand. Okay. With, with less humidity. It's a little bit better, a little <laughs> bit worse in some point, you know? <laughs> I, I think it was Danilo Petrucci who was saying that when he was behind another rider, it felt like a, like a hair dryer like blowing in his face. It is true, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also everything on, on the last 10 laps, everything is burning quite hard, you know, the, the foot, the arms, everything, you feel the, the hot coming from the bike and this. How do you yeah. feel about racing back to back in Jerez? For a rookie, it's better first year to race in all the tracks. Yeah. And then for the second year, have the information. But also will be interesting to see how much we can improve from one weekend to the other one. Just one more question, because the news just came out that your teammate and also brother will be back this weekend. At this moment, as a rookie, I need to say that I'm not able to do that. Because already 100% fit, I'm struggling, you know? And also Honda is so physically uh, bike, so it will be hard. But from first moment that he leaves the track, I thought yeah, some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I see him, well, look, the hand is already moving. Then I called him Tuesday night. He was already in the hospital. Look, my elbow is already moving a little bit. And then Wednesday already called me. I come. 
I'm saying okay. <laughs> well, I, I imagine you're very happy that you both will be uh, in Jerez this weekend. So best of luck for the weekend to you and to Mark. Alex, is there any chance we could get to grab a quick word with your crew chief, with Ramon? I think yes. Yeah? He's a good guy. He, he will not say no, okay? That's two minutes. Yeah, we'll come here. Bye. Vanessa wants to stay with you. Hola, Vanessa. Hola, Ramon. How are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> Good. Um, Ramon, what are the advantages of having back-to-back -back races at the same racetrack? The point of view of the rookie guy is good because uh, the first, day, first time we do some in some way with some setting and now we can change and uh, try another setting and try to improve the bike and also the riding. Then I think for Alex will be a good, good opportunity. And Ramon, everyone's been talking about how critical the conditions have been. Technically speaking, how much com how much more complicated was it? For us, the, the worst thing is uh, normally the grip. The grip is uh, quite good here in Jerez. Now with this condition, of course, the grip going down. The tires should be more hard because uh, the software cannot uh, accept this uh, this temperature. And then it's more complicated for us, but also for the rider. No? Uh, the bike normally is around 90 degrees. The ground is like 60 degrees. Yeah. And uh, the air that you expect a little bit more fresh is 40 degrees. Then it's not fresh in the air. Then it's for, for them, it's very, very, very strong. I am completely impressed that we can finish the race like this. Thank you so much, Ramon, for your time and for your insight. No problem, no problem. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Bye. Best of luck for the weekend. Bye. Bye bye. You. Hi, Jack. Hi, Vanessa. How How's, are you? I'm good. How's everything? I'm good, but I'm slightly jealous that you're in the paddock and that, that I am not. Yeah, well, you know, it's about time, you know, they started keeping you guys out of here, I guess. <laughs> How dare you? It's not, I mean, you know we love to bug you anyway. We're, we're, we'll social find a way. <laughs> We've asked people on social media to send us questions for you. Who would you prefer as a teammate for 2021? Maybe Casey. Yeah, it would be tough to fight for a title if you had Casey as a teammate, though. I know it would be, but I mean, you got to race against the best, didn't it? We got another question. Will you have a name for your GP21? Will you name the bike? No, I never really give them a name. I've been recently calling it Lady in Red. How do you feel about having back-to-back -back races? It's strange, you know, because uh, you kind of know what to expect now. Set up, you know, it's a different game plan, I guess, different strategy for the for the qualifying and everything this week, but uh, you know the small imperfections that we uh, that we uh, had last weekend, we're able to work on them and try and maybe iron them out for this weekend. If you could choose a, a rider or two to battle it out with on the last few laps of this weekend's race, who would you choose and why? None. It's just it's just it's just stressful. I think you know, to have it done early is nice. Well, Jack, thanks so much for letting us, you know, have a quick catch up ahead of, of this second race of the season. You're welcome, Vanessa. Lovely to see you and I uh, hope yeah, we can get you inside the paddock shortly, but not too soon. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye, Jack. Bye. Bye. Jack Miller then, look at this. There you go, the front end going. How many guys did we see go down at turn nine in Moto2? With Mar Marquez missing race day and with Fabio Quartararo on pole yet again in Jerez, let's see what happens in the race. Lights out! Good start from Fabio Quattararo, he got that one absolutely nailed, he's flying up the hill. One, oh, there's a bit a of drama the further round. back, is that Lecawona? It's certainly one of the Red Bull KTM Tech 3 bikes. It's Miguel Oliveira. Miguel Oliveira, and he looks hurt. Attacking Nakagami, as we expected, early doors is running comfortably inside that top six. All right, here, here comes Jack Miller up the inside. Well, Miller, Miller. Vignales, he's wide though, he's really wide, and Peko Banyar pounces as well. Oh, someone's Somebody's gone down. Right. That's Miller. Miller. Oh, Jack Miller has gone yeah. down. Me, 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 what an eventful day for Brad Binder. That's a nasty, nasty high side. Am I seeing some sort of haze on the circuit, or it is, is it my Peckerbank. eyes? No, he's got a problem. He has, he's great got spot, smoke. Steve, great spot. How cruel is that? For Paco Bagnaia. This is a savage race on Man and Machine. The force is with Fabio. His second victory in MotoGP. And that was it for the Andalusian Grand Prix, a race that was done under extreme hot conditions. And we saw only 13 out of the 21 riders cross the finish line. 
We had back-to-back -back wins from Fabio Quartararo and back-to-back -back second places from Maverick Vinales. At completing that Yamaha lockout podium, we had Valentino Rossi, who is back on it after 465 days. We had Takaki Nakagami just off the podium on fourth and with a pretty impressive top eight for rookie Alex Marquez. Join us next time for the Czech Republic Grand Prix. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss the next episode of Inside Pass. See you next time.